So another aspect of our WordPress deployment that was left as an exercise to the student was connecting the Elastic Load Balancer to the actual WordPress web serving instant. Now we created all these components, we just didn't perform the final linkage. So let's do that now. In the Amazon Web Services Management Console, click on EC2 under the Compute heading in the top left. On the left hand side, select Load Balancers from the Network and Security Group and you'll see that we get our load balancer listed here. Now I'm just going to expand this up a little bit so we have a better view. We're going to click on the Instances tab. And you'll see right now there are no instances registered to the load balancer and you can see which availability zones and subnets it is actually available to balance to. But we can fix this very easily by clicking the gray Edit Instances button. You do this and it pops up with currently running instances. In our case, we have our WordPress server instance. It's in a state of running, so that means it should be able to accept traffic. We've tested it directly by visiting its public DNS address, so we know it is available. We're going to select the checkbox next to this instance. Remember, your instance ID is going to be different, but the name should be WordPress server if you followed along in the course. And with that selected, now click the blue Save button in the bottom right. Now when an instance is added to a load balancer, it doesn't immediately come into service. It needs to pass its health checks. So we've configured the default health check timing for our load balancer, so it's going to take a minute or two for our server to come into service. So after a minute or two, our WordPress server comes online. It's now listed as in service for our load balancer. This means now we can move away from addressing the instance directly and being able to address it through the load balancer's URL or the DNS name we've set up for the load balancer. Let's test that now by clicking on the description tab in the load balancer and selecting the DNS name. Now we can copy this to the clipboard, either Command or Control C. And then by pasting that into our address bar, you'll see we'll get our default WordPress site. Success! We can now access our WordPress site through our load balancer and then through our Route 53 hosted domain name if we enabled one during the course. That's how easy it is to finish that connection between our load balancer and our EC2 instances.